Pero bago natin simulan, eh this coming Friday nga mga bulero, eh magaganap itong tapatan ng Blackwater Bossing kalaban ng Magnolia Hotshots. Kaya naman huwag nang magdalawang isip pa at tumalpak na. The 20-year-old big man from the Philippines was not successful in his pursuit to become part of an NBA team during the 2022 NBA draft. But his dreams to become the first Filipino homegrown NBA player is not over yet. And I agree with that 100%. It is not over yet. Keep doing your thing and live your dream. According to reports, there is still a great chance for Soto to share the court with NBA players in an actual NBA game. That is through the upcoming 2022-23 preseason games. According to the NBL commissioner, Jeremy Lowliger, the NBA will be invited to at least two NBA preseason games this October. He also noted there is no specific squad yet on which NBL team is going to take part in the NBA preseason. So, there are eight teams. That means there's a 25% chance we're going to get to see Kai play against other NBA teams. So, with that particular news, that's maybe, that, that is totally up in the air. Now, if more teams are able, more NBL teams are able to play against NBA teams, then there's a very good chance that we'll get to see them. I hope we do. The best way to showcase your talent is to play against other players. And what better way to show what you can do against NBA players? Now, another rumor I wanted to address that I talked about in my live stream last night is, it is assumed that Kai Soto will be returning to the Adelaide 36ers in the NBL. Okay, he's still under contract. Let's get into the article, Kai fans. There's no official announcement very important there is no official announcement with this yet from soto's camp that the seven three, seven foot three center is returning to the mbl to exercise a contract although rumors are spreading that he's expected to suit up for the adelaide 36ers after going undrafted in this year's draft he still has two more years in his contract with the third year being a player option and i'm wondering kai fans is his contract possibly hindering him from getting in the nba whichever nba team wanted him wouldn't they not have to buy out his contract is that maybe a little roadblock right now from him getting into the NBA. We also know that he and his team are opting out of the Summer League. We already know this. He's clearly not in the NBA Summer League. And I still think that's a bad idea, Kai fans. Watching the Summer League with my San Antonio Spurs so far, there's an undrafted player named Darius Days that played in LSU that is absolutely killing it right now, showing the world that, hey, maybe I should have been drafted. I had never heard of him, and he's playing phenomenal. He might get a two-way contract from the Spurs based on his play. I read teams that I read that Kai's uh, camp doesn't want him to do a QA two way contract and obviously didn't want to do the summer league, and that's frustrating for me. Get in the NBA. It's not how you get there, it's whether you get there. And I just wonder, Joel Bell and his camp, Kai's camp, are really hindering him with some of the advice they're giving Kai right now. I if he was out there in the summer league and absolutely crushing it, no doubt in my mind he would get a two way contract. That is not the case right now. Show the world what you got. You, but to show the world what you got, Kai fans, you need to play. You need to play the game. Anyway, uh, we also know that Kai is not planning to be a part of Gilis Filipinas. Uh, am I saying that right? Hopefully, Filipinos, uh, the Philippines national team and the FIBA Asia World Cup qualifiers. Again, frustrating. Show the world what you can do. You need to play. You need to play the game. You're not going to get interest from NBA teams if you're not playing basketball. Anyway, however, if Kai chooses to be a 36er again, he can get a chance to prove his level of playing Kai has said himself. He's got a lot of things he can work on. Now that Cam Barstow and Isaac Humphreys are out of the equation, I guess that means they're not on the 36ers anymore, he surely can get more minutes. If Adelaide gets picked to play in the preseason, which we talked about, he can properly shine in an actual NBA game. I think he's going to stay with the Adelaide 36ers this year. Um, all is not lost, Kai fans. All, I know a lot, a lot of you are frustrated with him not getting drafted and feel like, well, he's probably never going to get in the NBA. That, I don't think that's the case. I'm a David Robinson fan. He's my favorite player of all time. He did not play in the NBA until he was 24. Now, that was because of a naval commitment with the United States Navy. That being said, he didn't become an NBA player until he was 24. A more recent example is a fellow NBA NBL player in Jacques Landell. He didn't make it into the NBA until last year at the age of 26. Now, I'm hoping Kai gets into the NBA before that age, but just don't give up on the dream. If he wants it to happen, from what I read, this kid's got a good head on his shoulders. He'll keep working hard. But his team, his agent, need to make sure he's out there playing basketball. He's got to show what he can do to the world in whatever league it is over the next year. So in next year's NBA draft, the NBA goes, you know what? This dude, you know, we kind of felt he was an undrafted player last year in the last draft, but man, he's killing it. Let's take a chance on him this year. Let's get, you know, maybe not even taking a chance. Maybe he'll elevate his game over the next year. Won't be taking a chance. It'll be like, yes, we want that guy. I do. I truly do think he will make it in the NBA. 
That's not BS, that's not me looking for clicks or whatever. I do think he'll be in the NBA at some point. The question is, Kai fans, when?